Hello and good morning to the Dubai Debates. I'm Daniel Gallach calling from Berlin, Germany. I don't think that there is an Arab, genuine Arab way of democracy to evolve. And uh, I think whenever I hear the wording, the Arab way, the special Arab uh, exception, whatever, I always believe that this was an excuse for decades for lack of reform and transformation. An excuse to say, no, we're not adapting the Western model because we believe we have our own cultural aspects that should influence our political system. I think very much, be it a Western democracy or not, democracies all over the world share the same characteristics and I think, you know, the Arab world should rather try to learn from these experiences than try to develop its own way. Though I think this is the difficult part. These uh, revolutions in Egypt and Tunisia, for example, have been uh, a matter of courage and a matter of persuasion. But now, uh, I think the most difficult task in the hard work is ahead and I think it's a matter of endurance. I think that those, and this is the major problem I see here, um, those that could help the Arab world, that could help countries like Tunisia and Egypt at the moment, and those that promise help, are so busy with themselves that um, I believe that countries like Tunisia and Egypt have to count on themselves and on their own people to, uh, to achieve in this transformation. Because America just promised um, loans, they promised uh, help uh, in the form of a so-called Marshall Plan for North Africa and the Arab world. But uh, America is uh, running short of budget and America is very busy with itself. Europe, for example, um, European politicians always talk about probably opening the agricultural markets of uh, the European Union to North Africa to uh, to help uh, the agricultural sector in North Africa develop but we all know that the southern Mediterranean the southern European Mediterranean countries like Spain Italy are not going to allow this because they are afraid of the competition so I think uh, where should they are both turn to China to the GCC countries the GCC states are I think sending the completely wrong sign to countries like Egypt and Tunisia at the moment because what did they do not only they interfered militarily in Bahrain, but uh, which is, of course, a GCC member whose government asked for help, but they also now inviting countries like Jordan and uh, Morocco to join the GCC club. These are monarchies. These are countries that are, although they uh, they are uh, trying out reforms now, um, are kind of you know authoritarian uh, regimes, and uh, I think that. To the young people in countries like Egypt, Libya, um, Tunisia, maybe even Algeria, uh, this would come up as a wrong message because people would believe that there is no some kind of new, you know, pact of monarchies developing in the Arab world, an exclusive club, an exclusive economic zone that uh, is mainly united by the fear of reform, by the fear of revolution. And uh, I think this is, uh, as I just said before, a wrong sign. So where is Egypt, where is Tunisia heading to seek help? Uh, I think uh, they are pretty much on their own now and uh, I wish them good luck.